Fit like a bee, Danny Min here and welcome back to another episode of Train Life. It is time to hit up the new scenarios that we got. There are a lot for I see uh, the Ice 4 and 3. Uh, this Amsterdam Cologne one we actually did but it was in a Bison in the last one. And I think we did Cologne in Berlin and Hanover in Munich. And Berlin at Hamburg was one. I think we've done these four, right? So we might do these these other three. Although we did do this one, and I might redo this one. They're just short. Some of them are quite long. This uh, Dresden Aachen, 45 to 55 minutes. I would imagine that would be quite long. It's a fair distance to cover on the map. I know this Hanover and Munich one was long. I think that's the one where I took a wrong turn and face planted a, a depot door if I remember correctly. But we've got these. And it looks like these are the coupling. So you can do manual coupling, stop in the Prague warehouse coupling slash decoupling zone. Let's try it. Let's uh, let's give it a bash. And uh, see how we got on. I sure you want the scenario to begin. Yes, I am positive. I wonder where it's gonna start us. Right, it is starting us right outside Prague warehouse. We are in the the Sol's Geeter. There we go. There she is. What traffic there? The traffic seems better. There is a lot of traffic, but it seems better. And I would imagine this would be all fenced off in reality. It would seem super easy to get onto the train tracks. But what have I got? Oh, I've actually got mail wagons. Okay, so the timer is ticking. So let's ask. Prague main, uh, three services, yep, three, uh, we're doing post, right, these are postage wagons, they sure as hell are, okay, right, we are now cleared to enter, okay, uh, it wants us to go to the left, let's start heading out, let's get a bit of speed, come on, come on, Sol's Geeter. It does say the scenario that this is quite a heavy train, I think they've maybe tweaked the physics of how weight works and that underpowered locos are going to struggle to to haul really really long long heavy trains but we are going right here and we're basically coming into the decoupling zone so this scenario feels slightly more like a tutorial i thought this was going to have the the manual decoupling or, or the sort of manual coupling that you get but these wagons are already on board but that's totally fine that's fine we'll manage we'll live we'll do this because I want to see if it is uh, how if it is actually any difference but I think we're literally just picking up mail it has been confirmed that the the brake slowing distances have massively increased look at that hundred percent braking there we do have a bit of wheel spin it's just a scenario, so I am going to use the emergency brake for this because it's not my train and I don't really, we don't really care what happens to it. Now, it, the animations for platforms and stuff are coming up in the update 3, I think. Uh, so I think the doors and stuff should actually open. Now, the route is set for us. Uh, so the doors are closed and we're ready to rock and roll stop in the Prague warehouse coupling slash decoupling zone. That's where I sort of got confused because I thought it was going to let us go in to couple up the the wagons here. <coughs> Excuse me. I keep sneezing. Every time I start to record I sneeze. And then I don't sneeze for the rest of the day. That's weird. But there we go, a bit, with a bit of wheel slip there because I fired on a bit too much power. I wonder if we're going to get AI trains in the scenarios as well, you know? Throw a little spanner in the works there to see if you can maybe, if it'll maybe increase your time. Uh, the speed limit is 50 here. It's going to open up as well. It looks like we're going uphill. I am doing most of this from outside. I don't really know why. Let's jump inside the old Sol's Geeter. And we'll hand round. There we go. Speed limit up to 70, so we're all good there. Uh, tree, slightly on track. And we will try and abide by the speed limit. 
We'll do the, the scenario as it is intended. We're going to go up to 80 here soon though. So I'm going to add a little bit more power as we head across the river. There we go. Nice river shot there. What's at that side? Ooh, nice bridge. I quite like that bridge actually. I like the the cathedral on top of the uh, the hilltop there. It's really nice. So yeah, we're past the bridge. Right, we can slow down. Ah, touch. We're basically at 80. Next speed limit is going to be 50. Oh, speed limit 50. Speed limit was there. I believe it's just for these corners. It's maybe thinking that these corners are a bit wild for our train. We should be okay. We are heading down the right way. I always get nervous when the, the train splits off in uh, at least three or more tracks. Because there's great potential for you to jump on uh, the wrong track. And it could absolutely lead you down the wrong way. I don't know why the speed limit is so slow here. Is it just for these turns? Possibly. Maybe. Let's check the map. Is this... Yeah, so... When we did our last episode, our grand tour, we came down this way. So we went from Prague to uh, Pruno here, and then Ostrava, and then along. So this section of track here, we've not actually explored. So that's that's quite nice. And uh, we'll take it down to 50. We are speeding a bit. We did waste a little bit of time. I want, I want to see if I can get there in under. We won't get fined for this, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, we've got an uphill gradient here. So I'm going to start adding power. Oh, don't wheel slip. Don't wheel slip. There we go. Get the power up. I think this thing is going to struggle getting up here. So that's why I'm keeping the, the power on. And then we can take it off as we sort of crest the hill there. That's nice. Just like coast. It's still dragging. The speed should come down because we're still literally dragging the, the back, the tail end of the train up that slope back there. Okay, now we can add a bit of speed. Looks like we're going downhill. 80 speed limit coming up. I long for the 80 speed limit. There it is right there. Yeah, wheel slip is a much more sensitive. It, it feels like every time I depress the, the W key, it like skips. To like two notches and I get wheel slip. It's maybe just me being slightly heavy handed on the old uh, keyboard there. But we have ooh, 13, well, 13 and a half or so minutes to get there. I don't know if this can be done actually. I'm sure in a perfect world it probably can be done. Almost certainly. Alright, let's keep it at the speed limit. We are going downhill slightly. Uh, Prague main. Oh, I'm probably going to have to tell them. I want two station access, please, just in case. So we're only at Prague main. Ooh, Q, go left. Okay. It didn't go left. Ah, the scenario is literally on rails. There we go. I'm surprised this did not come down to 80. Perhaps maybe they've changed the speed that you can go through a, a train if you're bypassing it. That'd be interesting. Right, up this hill we go. Right, we're, we're through Prague Main. Yeah, the speed normally comes down to 50. Unless there's some sort of bypass that goes around. But we, we did not go around there. We just went barreling through the station. The scenario was definitely on rails still though. So you can't go the wrong way it looks like. Right, it's going to come down to 50 again. Really? Where is it going to come down to 50? Through this tunnel, perhaps? No. Looks like this is slightly uphillish as well. So I'm going to add a bit of power to make sure we do not lose any momentum going up here. All right. 
right, bleed it off the speed, we're going too fast. I like this little archway as you come through here. I don't know what this is for, if it's just maybe design. Watch out, your train may derail. What? But I'm going under the speed limit. <laughs> that was strange. That was really strange. It did look like we got thrown about quite severely going through that uh, switching point there. So maybe you have to... That's a thing now. Switching at high speed may be a bad idea. I don't know, there was a patch that came out recently, uh, just, well, there's a couple of patches that came out after the the release of, this is update through two, update one, this is update two. So I'll have to look into that. Right, speed limit is 120. Well, let's get the speed up. Uh, the next speed limit is going to be 100. We have about just over 10 minutes to get there. So we'll see. We'll see if this can be done. Let's have a look outside. There will be a switching point coming up shortly, I would imagine. So this is 12 wagons, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's only 9. 9 wagons of the meal. Oh, well. That's fine. Nice little gorge area here, nice little village on top of gorge. Uh, sticking to the right hand side, yes, th please and thank you. Uh, the speed limit comes down to 100, but that's totally fine because we haven't actually reached 100 kilometers per hour yet. Has the top speed of this train changed? Watch out, animal near the track. This thing used to be good for 115 and it was it was pretty, even with a full load of stuff, you could still get it up there. I think they've definitely changed up a lot of the stuff, which is good. So now at full speed, I don't have to worry about breaking the speed limit on these high speed section of tracks, because I literally can't. Animal near the track. Where are you, Bambi? Bambers. You are, you are just sort of near the track. If I don't do anything, yeah, run away. Thank you. Uh, speed limit's coming down to 70, uh, so let's bleed off the speed. There's a chance we may derail here. That's fine. A lot of braking there. Because as we know, the brakes do not respond as well as they used to. Right, we're already 11 and a half minutes in and I haven't even reached like this area to start going up here. So I don't think we can make this in under 20 minutes. The, maybe if I hadn't been messing around at the start. I think you need to be bang on the speed. So I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna speed slightly. I mean, I can go, yeah, let's go over. Uh, next speed limit is 90, so I want to sort of get up to 90. Let's keep it at 80, or 85. 85 is like our limit. Now, I need to switch over to the left. So, right, I've uh, got a... Uh, Street crossing here, blast the horn there, and then I need to switch over to the left. Right, there's the 98. Oh, ah, yeah, it's on rails, so I can't actually go the wrong way. Right, speed up again. The next speed limit is going to be 100, so we'll just give it the the full the full whack. But we are, we're not even starting to head up north yet. I might not be able to do this in 25 actual minutes. What is that? It's like a radio mast on top of a mountain. It's pretty cool. It's really cool, actually. 
nice little village down here. I like this. I like this scenery. Uh, I did just push over the left hand side, but there's been no apparent sign of AI trains for the moment. So I think we should be good. I don't think it matters which side we're on. It's going to come up to 100 soon, but I don't think this train can do over 100 miles per uh, 100 kilometers per hour now. I suppose that's why the, the upgrades come in really handy now, because you can literally uh, chew it up. I've been looking, and one of the, the best upgrades you can get now are upgrades for braking. Uh, getting that train to slow down a lot quicker is going to be instrumental. And obviously things to mitigate damage, because the braking is so poor now in standard trains... Uh, you're going to have to use it, utilize that emergency brake quite a lot. Especially when faced with oncoming trains that appear in a relatively short time frame. That give you a short time frame to react. You're going to have to use the emergency brake. Uh, and it's going to give you a lot of damage. So there are upgrades you can add to the train that mitigate that damage. There's also the, the damage reduction uh, for the perk points as well. So we've got five minutes to get there, just over five minutes to get there before time. Uh, next speed limit is 110, yeah, so I can literally leave it in autopilot now because I can't go over. This route is way better, I love this, going through the mountains. I would imagine this is what that ruined castle on top of the hill there, very, very cool. Indeed. Okay, I'm liking this. I, I like this area. Ooh, snow-covered mountains. That's the first snow-covered mountain we've seen. I would imagine this is what update 3 is going to sort of look like with the, the Alps and stuff. I'm looking forward to that. I really am. It is also, I believe, coming with another new train, so that'll be nice as well. Yeah, this would be a great route. And on release, the game is going to have the Steam Train, the Orient Express. Which is going to be super cool as well. I'd imagine there's going to be DLC also. I mean, why would you not? There's lots more, you know, areas that you can explore in Europe. It's going to be very cool. They could basically do DLC on a truck sim, uh, like a truck sim basis, you know, where, you know, Spain, France... Added as DLC, Italy, Russia, uh, the East. And then they could even jump across to uh, Train Life or Railway Simulator, America. And then they could add, again, just do a couple of states. Give you a lot of section of track to play with. Most of these assets in here. Uh, maybe the houses might be a little different. But most of these assets could probably be utilized again to populate that map or those maps. And then you'd have to introduce things like desert biomes, etc. I like this. See the castles? There's a lot of castle ruins on the mountain. But they look pretty cool, not going to lie. That is pretty neat. I am absolutely not paying attention to what is in the track in front of me, but I don't care. Yep, oh, field there. Uh, where are we going? We're staying on the right, but then we'll go left. Ah, the, I forget the scenario is on rail, so I I don't have to worry about this. Uh, lower speed, or you may get found. I am actually going to lower speed, because these corners up here look a bit wild. Uh, what time is it? 17.23. We're only at Prague Sawmill. All right. A lot of wheel spin there. Uh, it's going to disengage in a minute and we'll be able to crack on with the speed. Uh, we've got an 80 and then a 120. Let's get the speed back up, please. I'm going to give it the full shebang. There we go. We've got some chopped down trees there next to a sawmill. That's a good idea, actually. It gives you the impression that trees are being cut down and then changed at the sawmill. Uh, I kind of went to look outside, but I 
don't know what is in front of me. That's cool. Yeah, I like it. And then we've got this industrial area here. You are speeding, I sure am, but the speed limit is up to 120 now, so now we're not speeding. Uh, a minute and a half to get there. Okay, where am I? Uh, I would say like a minute and a half to get to about there. So we're definitely going to get there within the, the 25 minute window. That's not going to be massively impossible. It'd be nice if I could actually decouple these wagons at the other side. I think there is actually a scenario where you can manually couple stuff. I think it's maybe the log one, which is not this one. That is a different scenario. Right, we are heading in. Can I actually tell... No, Rocklaw Main is there, but the warehouse is not. Ah, uh, the warehouse is just past there. What we'll do is we'll tell Rocklaw, uh, Rocklaw Main that I need station access because I need to pass through, please. And then as soon as we get to the other side of that, we're going to have to ask Rocklaw uh, Warehouse if we can come in to unload our mail. Right, next speed limit still 120, so I'm super happy with that. We've now got 30 seconds to get there. So my estimated where we were going to be in a minute and a half was, was pretty bang on. <laughs> but it's not... Oh, I don't know, it might take us five minutes to get through. Uh, this is going to come down to 80. Oh, next speed limit is 60. Ugh, that's worse. Thought it was going to be 80. Again, the scenario is literally on rails, so there's no chance that we can head the wrong way here. There we go. We're, at, we're past the 20 minute mark, and I would imagine it's not going to end till after the doors have been opened, the post is, or the mail has been removed, and. Uh, What's speed limit here? Still 120. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Get rid of that wheel slip. Come on. Come on. There we go. Man, I, I thought it was going to come down to 60 there. They are doing a full sort of GPS uh, rework as well, apparently, later on. So that will be interesting. Right, we are interest entering Rocklaw. Man, the wheel slip is severe now. We've used almost half a tank of diesel just to get to here. Really? That seems like a lot. Right, it looks like there's a bypass here. Of which I am extremely happy. So get ready for point switching. Yeah, go left. Uh, 50, but 80 if you're on the left, that's fine. Uh, we want to go right. Wait, no, 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 no. I don't want to go right into the depot. That's how it screwed me over the last time. Although, because that was barriered off, I believe that the game would just not have allowed me to go through there. Wow, we're 22 minutes in, and I'm still not at. Right, I'm going to full speed this. Uh, Rocklaw Warehouse, four, three, two, one, three, one, three, three postal service, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocklaw Warehouse, uh, waiting for you to go to the station, blah, 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 blah. Okay. 95 coming through. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get in under... The, okay, now slow down. Now slow down. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm surprised that didn't derail the train there. That was quite a severe uh, <laughs> entrance into there. Right, let's try and keep the speed up. Now, I need to go dead slow for this in case it changes my... where I need to come in at. Right, so the, the dwarf signals are green, so that is 
at least something. Alright, it wants me to go left. Okay, so head left. Wants me to go right. So our pickup point could be down the middle here. No, it wants me to go left. Ah, oh, I see it. It's okay, I can actually just go in here. It's not one of these ones where you have to go in and then sort of reverse all the way back down. So that's quite nice, actually. I want to pick up a little bit of speed. I've got a minute and a half to get the train in and stop it. Now, this is not a... Oh, come on. This is not a full-length train. So as soon as it has cleared those signals back there, we're going to stop and we're going to get this stuff unloaded. Right, we're pretty much in. Add the brakes. Add the brakes. 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 Oh, that's it. We're done. I don't actually have to... Uh... <laughs> well, that's fine. I think we would have made it, though. Opening the doors and stuff. Uh, that's a decent amount of wagons. Yep, stop in Prague Warehouse. Complete. Well done. Your time. 23 minutes and 53 seconds. Now, I did not sort of mess around for four minutes at the start. Even if I had it, I think I still would have been just over the 20 minutes. So I think you need to be pretty bang on with the speed in this scenario. Obviously taking liberties and there's that 15 kilometer per hour buffer zone where your speed is in uh, sort of amber, yellow. To tell you that you're about to go into the red. The red is where it starts to find you. If you're in that buffer zone, the 15 k's, uh, you should be... Okay, so if you can use that and take a liberties with that, uh, you should be okay. But I've noticed that there's a lot of there's a lot of bends on the railways now that give you a a sort of rail track speed, say 80 kilometers per hour. But then you go around it at 80 kilometers per hour, and you get the message that you need to slow down or this train may derail. So it looks like. Going at full track speed in certain trains could be hazardous to health, really. But yeah, it was interesting. Right, so that scenario is done. Just a nice little uh, postage one, which is fine. Uh, we'll click to main menu, since we've done that. And uh, go back to these scenarios. So we've done these, one, two, three, four. We've got this one to do, this one to do, this one to do. All right, we have another postage, right? What's this one? Stop and let coupling slash decoupling zone. The fog strikes again, making log delivery just a little bit harder. So I think that these, I mean, we may as well do this one as well, right? Dresden to Rocklaw. Or in the next episode, we'll do this one and this one. And this one's going to be in the fog. Leipzig to Nuremberg logs. I was hoping it was going to have... It did say that there were like shunting exercises or scenarios coming. But that's fine. And then we'll do some of the ICE stuff. That'll be pretty cool. But we'll leave it there for that episode. That was... I quite like the little scenarios. Uh, I'm looking forward to running on one of the ICEs again because... As of yet, we cannot buy them within the confines of the game. Was that a, was What the hell was that? Was that a different train? It looked like a bison, but the back of it looked like something else. So, <laughs> But yeah, we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the future, then hit the subscribe button. But I have been Danny Man, this has been Train Life, and I will catch you later.